Hello and welcome to A Journey of Clarity, a personal exploration of getting in tune with yourself and in tune with others with your host, Dr. Nathaniel Costia. This is a journey of emotional and spiritual awareness, of discovering what life truly means, and a clear shift from an ego-driven world to a meaning-driven world. I believe we can become more in tune with our thoughts, our emotions and our spirituality. And as we do that, we will make better decisions, have deeper connections, more fulfillment and even more joy. This is a bit of clarity. Hi and thanks for being with us. We are already in episode 10. I can't believe this. We are going at a good pace and you've already journeyed with us for uh, 10 sessions. And I believe you are much better positioned now to understand emotional intelligence. You have more clarity with these little bits of clarity that have been coming your way, bit by bit, drop by drop. And I think that you are growing and improving and you value your personal development, which I commend you for. And I just want to encourage you to carry on, continue this and keep growing. And today we're going to do an assessment. Are you ready? All right. You know, there's a variety of assessment tools out there. But when it comes to emotional intelligence, yeah, you can do many tests. But I find the Character Strengths by VIA Institute as being one of the best ones. So there will be a link in the show notes and also on the podcasts and everywhere you're consuming this, where you can do your own test. There's, there is a free one. So um, we are not partnering with VIA Institute in any way, but we are endorsing them in a sense because we believe what they produce is wonderful. So this has, uh, they have to do with how well do we know ourselves and where we are in this uh, point of time. Your character strengths do change and it's good to do them maybe every year to see what priorities you have and just to have this awareness about where your strengths lie. So the character strengths and virtues are central to emotional intelligence and the VIA Institute, the, their website is viacharacter.org so viacharacter.org, V-I-A character.org. It's a survey um, which uh, is a personality test and it's used in the science of psychology and it measures your individual character strengths, the core personality capacities for thinking, feeling and behaving in a positive way. Uh, there has been over 250 research studies that have been conducted to create these character strengths. And um, most of these, they all relate to happiness and success. And there are six virtue categories and you have them grouped in our show notes. And you can also, obviously, I will uh, share them with you right now. So let's dwell straight into it. There's quite a bit of content today. so. I will go straight to the matter. Wisdom and knowledge. So this is the first virtue category and there are six character strengths that form part of the wisdom and knowledge. All in all, I'm going to share with you, are you ready? 24 character strengths, 24 character strengths. Now some of these will be your top ones and some of these will be your bottom ones. So what the VI Institute does is they put them in order for you by you going through the survey and answering the questions you will see the order of your character strengths so there's no right and wrong answer they just put them in order of priorities in your life for those that are strong in your life it's good for you to celebrate them and know that you're doing really well in them and for those that are that you're really weak in it's an opportunity for you to develop those so it brings awareness so in the wisdom and knowledge virtue category we have at number one the character strength of curiosity and interest in the world. Uh, how interested are you in learning more? How open are you to experiences? How flexible are you about matters? And how much do you enjoy exploring and discovering new things? Number two, the love of learning. How, do you, how much do you love learning new things? And how much do you learn being like uh, being in spaces where there's an opportunity for learn for you to learn? So the love of learning is the second one, part of wisdom and knowledge. The third one in the wisdom and knowledge 
a virtue category is judgment or critical thinking or open-mindedness mindedness mindedness how well do you think things through how well do you examine your options how well do you look at all sides how well do you look at evidence to make your decisions how well do you not jump to conclusions and how open are you to change your mind if there's evidence for you to change your mind so that's number three number four creativity or uh, practical intelligence street smart how original you are how good are you at finding new ways uh, of doing things how unsatisfied are you with the status quo something that is conventional convenient and how much do you look for new ways to do that very same thing so are you creative is that a character strength that you have number five has to do with social intelligence part of the virtue of wisdom and knowledge and personal intelligence how well do you know yourself and how well do you read others how in tune are you with yourself and how in tune are you with others do you understand other people's motives and feelings and do you understand your own motives and feelings do you know how to respond to different situations in order to help people and to fit in well number six is perspective and this is the most mature strength in the wisdom category others come to you to ask you for advice to help them solve problems to gain perspectives and you always have ways of looking at the world fresh ways solid ways sound ways and you can make good self a uh, good sense uh, of the things that happen to yourself and to others so you have a healthy perspective so these uh, six uh, character strengths curiosity love of learning judgment creativity social intelligence and perspective they are part of wisdom and knowledge the next group or the next virtue category is courage and at number seven is bravery or valor how much can you embrace challenges or difficulty even if these are painful be it physical intellectual or emotional do you stand up for you believe even if there's opposition well when you do that means you have bravery and number eight is perseverance again part of courage this talks about grit where you have the diligence and industry to carry on where you work hard to finish whatever you begin without being distracted i hope this is one of your traits you enjoy the satisfaction of having completed a task so there's people that have this as a character strength and it's a good one so there's no bad or good ones here they're all good they're strengths they're not weaknesses right it's just as i said the va institute puts them in order for you and number nine and these are not in order these are grouped together for us to understand but when you do the the survey they will be in order for you so part of courage again at number nine we have honesty which has to do with in integrity and being genuine you're honest and authentic in the way you speak and also in the way you live you're straightforward you're down to earth and there's no pretense in you if this is a character strength of yours so that has to do with courage only three elements there three character strengths as part of courage the next virtue category is humanity and love and we have five five character strengths here we have kindness which has to do with generosity you enjoy doing good deeds for others regardless of how well you know them you may take interests of others as seriously if not more seriously than your own so you're really concerned about others at number 11 part of humanity and love loving and allowing oneself to be loved you value close relationships and these are important to you in particular you value close relationships in which sharing and caring are reciprocal and the feeling is mutual and number 12 uh, teamwork and loyalty you are excellent as being part of the group you always share your work you do your part in the work you're loyal and a dedicated teammate you work hard for the success of the group as a whole so you have a good teamwork citizenship attitude and character strength and number 13 we have fairness or equity you treat people fairly and that is important to you so you give everybody a chance and you don't let 
your feelings get in the way of making decisions. You are equitable. Number 14, again, part of humanity and love, of the virtue of humanity and love category, the character and strength of leadership. You're good to organize group activities and encourage others to get things done while preserving the good relationship you have with these people and you make everybody feel included. That could be one of your character strengths. The next group or the next virtue has to do with temperance. How tempered are you? At number 15, we have self-regulation or self-control. You're in control of your feelings, you're in control of your actions, and you can handle these to behave appropriately. You consciously regulate these and are, are a disciplined person. You rule your emotions and appetites. They do not rule you. You're in control of your life. You are well-tempered. At number 16, we have prudence. Uh, where you are a cautious person and your choices are consistently ones that avoid regret or pain. You do things deliberately and are good at resisting impulses in order to ensure long-term success. So maybe that could be one of your character strengths. There's also the character strengths and uh, strength at number 17 of humility, of modesty, if you'd like. You prefer, or you prefer to let your accomplishments speak more than you do, they speak for themselves. You don't regard yourself as better than others and do not aim to be the center of attention. You acknowledge the role of others in your success rather than taking all of the credit. So that's humility and modesty. The next virtue group uh, or category has to do with transcendence. So this is beyond you, this is the divinity, the spiritual matters. You notice, as I said before, um, in studying psychology, in studying emotional intelligence, there is the aspect of self-transcendence where you go beyond yourself, where you understand the divine, the spiritual part of our being. At number 18, we have appreciation of beauty and excellence. This could be a character strength that you have, a trait. You value beauty, you value excellence, you value the skills uh, in every area. You may feel the emotions of awe and wonder or feel inspired by intense beauty or excellence. These are people who are more artistic, people who actually love uh, what they see and they appreciate both beauty and excellence. At number 19, we have gratitude. You're aware of the good things that happen to you and tend to see the bright side in every situation. You never take the good for granted and in your relationships, you always take time to express your gratitude, to say thank you. Well, hopefully we have this character strength. And number 20, part of transcendence, we have hope, which has to do with opt optimism and a future mindness full of hope. You accept, uh, expect the best, uh, best in the future, excuse me, you expect the best in the future and work to achieve it. You look towards the future with positive expectations. You believe that the future is something that you can control. So you have hope and you work on that hope. And number 21, we have spirituality, a sense of purpose, faith and religiousness. This was my number one. And I think perspective was my number two strength. Um, and leadership, I think, was my third one. So those were my three, my top three. So spirituality, you hold strong, clear beliefs about the higher purpose and meaning of the universe. You understand where you fit in the bigger picture, so you know your identity and your beliefs determine your actions. You are driven by your values and your beliefs. At number 22, we have forgiveness and mercy. You forgive those who have done wrong and give people a second chance. You subscribe to mercy and never revenge. You believe that it is better to let go of transgressions and move forward. You simply forgive people, and that is a wonderful, wonderful character trait to have. I hope you rank higher and higher on that every single day. Number 23, humor or playfulness. Well, we need these people around and if you have this, uh, you're a lovely person to be with. You can easily find the light side of things and enjoy making other people smile and laugh. I do that too and I have it in probably my top 10 as well. And number 24, we have zest, passion or enthusiasm. You give your all to the activities you undertake approaching them with enthusiasm, excitement, and energy. You believe that life is an adventure and you absolutely go for it. So let me recap these 
24 ones, all right? So the they are in one, two, three, four, five groups. The first group is wisdom and knowledge. And number one, we have curiosity, love of learning, and number two, number three, judgment, number four, creativity, number five, social intelligence, and number six, perspective. Then in the virtue category of courage, we have seven, eight, and nine, bravery, perseverance, and honesty. In the humanity and love virtue category, we have a number 10, kindness, at 11, loving uh, and allowing oneself to be loved, at number 12, teamwork, at 13, fairness, and 14, leadership. Then we have the category of temperance, where we have self-regulation, prudence, and humility at number 17. So uh, self-regulation 15, prudence 16, and 17, humility. And then the last group, or the last category, has to do with transcendence. At number 18, appreci appreciation of beauty and excellence. At number 19, gratitude. At number 20, hope. At number 21, or spirituality. At number 22, forgiveness. At number 23, humor and number 24, Zest. Now, I want you to go to VR Institute uh, and do this survey for yourself. You don't have to take the paid version. You can take the free version if you'd like. The paid version just goes deeper into it, but you can take the free version. Uh, the website, once again, is vrcharacter.org. So vrcharacter.org. I will have the link in the comments and also on the show notes. And I invite you to do this survey look at your top say three four five and celebrate those but also i'd like you to look at the bottom ones and see what you can do to improve those and in fact in the application of this particular study today i'd like you to identify the bottom three of your character strengths and an action plan on what will you do to improve on those well i hope this propels you to get going and identifying your character strengths, becoming aware of them and continuously working on them because this will make you a better human being and it will be much better for yourself and for those people you encounter. So if you love this content, do subscribe to it, um, hit share, tell others about what we're doing and how much we love sharing good content and applicable um, uh, content and uh, give us some star ratings, hopefully five stars. Give us some feedback with some comments, whatever you can. And if you have any questions or you'd like to send us some feedback, some encouragement, we love this. Hope to see you next time. I'm Nathaniel Costia. I'm Dr. Nathaniel Costia, and I thank you so much for joining me on this journey of clarity through emotional and spiritual awareness. If you feel blessed by this presentation, please subscribe, rate, comment, and share it wherever you're enjoying it. And until next time, this was a bit of clarity.